Lewis Mumford referred to modern technology as megatechnics. He believes that megatechnics fail to produce products of quality and long lifespans. This is a result of devices such as consumer credit, installment buying, non-functioning and defective designs, and frequent superficial fashion changes. Mumford also believes that advertising has led to the reduction in product quality lifespans. He stated that constant advertising encouraged higher demand and a higher supply of goods. This statement is clear as modern societies are constantly bombarded with advertisements from televisions, radio stations, newspapers and billboards. Everywhere we turn there is someone or something telling us we need to buy the new iPhone if we want to live simple, modern and happy lives. To realise something so simple, so clear and yet so truly extraordinary. This, however, contradicts itself. Without advertising, people would be happy with keeping something for a long time. They wouldn't feel the need to constantly replace it with something better. Mumford uses his refrigerator as an example. Biotechnics is an organic model of technology which contrasts with megatechnics. This organic system is based around qualitative richness, amplitude, spaciousness and freedom from quantitative pressures and crowding. Biotechnics aims to seek a balance between wholeness and completeness among its citizens and this is what Mumford believes leads to the materialising of an ideal city. He also believes that what sets humans apart from animals is our natural ability to share information and ideas. Language and rituals are of greater importance to human development than tool making. Language is deteriorating thanks to technology as face-to-face -face contact is becoming rare when telephones and computers offer quick and easy forms of communication. Mumford continually refers to ancient cities in his writings. He believes that they are ideal cities, from social, technological and demographical viewpoints. Mesopotamia, an area between Turkey, Iran, Syria and Iraq, was one of the four civilizations where writing was invented. Ancient Athens brought people together like other ancient cities and promoted human interaction and fusion. Before politics was introduced to the city of Athens, four tribes based on human relationships inhabited the area. Together they created the following rights, privileges and obligations. Compare these to laws in modern cities, and it is clear how complicated cities have become. For example, technology now allows us to communicate by phone and allows us to communicate with people all over the world. However, this has also led to a lack of communication between people face to face. We have entered a new type of city. As a result of this, mankind is threatened more by the fear of power than ancient man learned to cope with. Technology has shaped the modern world and cities we have today. Mumford believes that we must look back at the ancient cities in order to work towards a more utopian society and an ideal city.